What do you think, um, you know, is the, the X, X factor in him? And do you wish that you had a chance to play under Pep? Oh, yeah, 100%. I would love to have worked with him. Um, he's someone that comes across as obsessed with, with football, wants to, to kind of drain every ounce of, of effort from, from his players. And they all seem to enjoy it. Um, and I was like that. I, I love to learn. I always thought there was another level to learning. And to have that opportunity would have been great. But as I said, it's enjoyable to watch. I know that. Um, but I, what sets him apart is his detail. I think uh, others I think he is one thing. I think there's not many people in football that have the knowledge he has. But I also believe one of his main strengths is his delivery. His, his ability to explain what he sees and what he wants to a group of players um, must be so, and I don't want to sound this, so simple to understand. Not simple to do, because if it was, we'd all be doing it and we'd all be <laughs> successful. But the way he must deliver the messages and he must paint the pictures for the players. Yes, the players have a high, high footballing IQ and it's not for everyone that will be able to do that, but he must make it so so simple for them to understand um, it must be must be remarkable to work for. Next season, biggest transfer rumour, Haaland, Erling Haaland or Lionel Messi to Man City. Which personally do you prefer to come over to our squad? <laughs> I don't think there's a bad option, is there really? Um, <laughs> yeah, but personally, who, both, do you, who do you think? Um, oh. If we win the Champions League this season, I'll say Haaland. Because of the ages, Age the longevity. Yeah. Yeah. If we don't, then I would say uh, Leo Messi because I just think adding him to this current City team, the way they've played, yeah. But again, Brilliant. adding him, yeah. yeah. I don't think I don't, there's not a bad option. Uh, uh, I, I yeah. would love to see Mbappe as well. I, I'm a massive fan Mbappe. of Mbappe, so any of them three, all of them three. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you choose as the best defensive lineup? Well, I think Stones and Diaz okay. are, are the best. I think they, they've proved that with the clean sheets and the way they've performed. But there's two players I would look at and think, and they don't play for the same team, but yeah, I think no, they don't need to. Yeah. enjoy defending and are, make good decisions defending. Stones and Diaz, the way yeah. they've performed, they to the best partnership because obviously the stats suggest that and they've, they've looked... Like they've played together for years, but in regards to the current two in the Premier League that I believe make great decisions and they don't they don't play together like I, I like Godfrey. I think he's came to Everton and yes and done exceptionally well. Godfrey. And I also think or um Emery Kanza at Aston Villa. I look at oh, him and feel oh, wow. that I'll be surprised if he's there for in more time. I think if if he's selected for the Euros and gets minutes, I think he can showcase that he can play at the top. Um, mm. not, and again, not that Aston Villa aren't at the top, but I'll be surprised if teams don't come and try and try and recruit yeah. Panza. 